Hey guys, so today we're going to be taking a look at my Game Boy Advance collection. Now I don't have anything in terms of accessories, so we're going to move on to the consoles. I'm starting off here with the original Game Boy Advance. Um, I actually didn't have one of these as a kid, this was actually my cousin's. And as you can see it's the, I think they call it Glacier color. I always thought that was a pretty neat color. Um, yep, still works and everything. Um, but next is my first personal Game Boy Advance, the Game Boy Advance SP. Um, I got this for Chris for Christmas in 2004. And yep, as you can see by the scratches on there, I use this a ton. Um, now, I only had this thing a year um, because I got the Nintendo DS in 2005, but in that year I played this thing a whole ton. And even after that, because of the, you know, the fact that Nintendo DS could not play Game Boy and Game Boy Color games, so... So it works perfectly and everything. I'll show off it here with, um, let's do Super Mario World, Super Mario Advance 2. One of my favorites. And despite being um, a little over 10 years old, this thing actually keeps a pretty decent charge. I, mean, I don't play it very much anymore just because of my Game Boy player, but, you know, I play this thing every now and then. Yep, it still works perfectly. Um, this is actually the first model that had the front light versus the back light. Um, I'd like to get a, a back light model sometime just for... Just because I think they're pretty neat, but for now this one's good. Um, it still shows up pretty well in the dark. Okay, so now let's move on to the games. Um, now since I only had this a year before I replaced it, I don't have a very big game collection. In fact, it's one of my smallest game collections, but I still have a couple. That I'll show off here. I'm starting off with what I already showed you, which was Super Mario World, Super Mario Advance 2. Uh, next, I got Yoshi's Island, Super Mario Advance 3. Next, we got, and this is actually my cousin's, um, Inspector Gadget, Advance Mission. Never really played this, so I really can't tell you much about it. Uh, next we got the only Game Boy video card I have, which is Kids Next Door Volume 1. Um, that's just kind of an interesting concept. Of course, this was before Netflix and stuff like that. Um, basically, it was, I think it was two or three episodes per cartridge on your Game Boy Advance. Um, which sounds like a weird idea, but you know, keeping in mind that phones couldn't stream Netflix or anything like that back then, it was actually kind of a neat idea. Um, okay, so next we got Star Wars Trilogy, Apprentice to the Force. This game's actually really, really fun. Um, it was one of my favorites. It's basically a side-scrolling game, and you basically go through the entire si um, Star Wars Trilogy. So that's pretty cool. Uh, next we got Sonic Advance. Very good game as well. I've always been a Sonic fan. Next we got Crash Nitro Kart. Which is basically a Mario Kart ripoff, but with a Diddy Kong Racing style adventure mode in it. So yeah, it's a pretty decent game. But not as good as Mario Kart Super Circuit. Which is, you know, a very awesome game, what you expect from Mario Kart. Uh, next up I got Pokemon Leaf Green, um, which of course is a remake of the original Pokemon Green. Um, and yeah, it's a pretty good game. Um, pretty good remake. Next we got Classic NES Series, Zelda 2 The Adventure of Link. Um, this game is decent. I know people, some people like it, some people don't. Um, I'm one of those people that I like it okay. Um, it's not as good as the original Legend of Zelda in my opinion, but, you know, it's an okay game. And then finally I got Frog's Adventures, Temple of the Frog. Uh, this is basically kind of like Donkey Kong was for the Game Boy. It's like the original Frogger, but with some added levels and... Added concepts and stuff like that. It's a pretty fun game, actually. So yeah, um, like I said, it's, I have a very small collection due to me only having the Game Boy Advance a year, but that's okay. Um, I hope to eventually expand my collection, but you know, I've got a good amount for now. So in the next video, I'll be showing you guys my Nintendo DS collection. See you guys then.